with having to deliver over 38,000 students a day to addressing the numerous road repair projects on Guam. The Department of Public Works has still had to substantially decrease its number of employees each year. In the last fiscal year, DPW lost an overall 23 positions and today recommended five more positions for reduction in force as part of Governor Eddie Calvo's issuance of Reduction in Force Advisory No. 1. DPW Director Joanne Brown says the positions are within the Capital Improvement Projects Division, including a Chief Planner, a Planner 2, an Engineer Supervisor, and two Engineer 2 positions. Because overall, in comparison to the other operations, uh, not that there's not a, not a lot of work, there's work overall, but in comparison to demands of the things that DPW has to deliver every day, it would have the least amount of impact on the overall operations of the department at this time. The advisory noted that the reduction in force of these positions doesn't mean the people holding them will necessarily be released. She adds the estimated saving cost for the five positions will save about $300,000. With regards to 23 positions, the department has lost in FY 2011, just recently, that just recently ended. Uh, that figure is over half a million dollars. So you're talking within, you know, a matter of months, uh, including the, the proposed positions that we're recommending, you're talking about almost $800,000 in further cuts to the department and personnel. Brown says it is not a desirable position to be in, but must be done in order to address the day-to-day -day challenges and right-size the government, all of which aren't new realities. We just went through the month of September with barely enough money to cover the most critical operation in our department, and that was the school bus drivers. We've had to take money from other operations that are much smaller in the department just to make payroll. And we're challenged with it. I mean, unless additional funds can be identified to pay for these positions, we have to find some sense of stability so that we can properly manage the department. And, and it's difficult to do that uh, in a time when you don't have real, real definite understanding or information or, or really actual cash realities uh, that you can manage the department with. Brown currently has 308 employees. She says the recommendation of positions have been referred to the Department of Administration and will go through a retention register at DOA's Human Resources Division, a first to ever be run in GovGuam's history. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.